Matatag Curriculum, Science Grade 4, Quarter 1, Lesson 5, Materials and Their Uses, Minimizing Harmful Effects in Changes in Properties of Materials. Hello kids! How are you today? Are you ready to learn another lesson in Science 4? If yes, then let's start! Our topic for today is about materials and their uses, minimizing harmful effects in changes in properties of materials. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. is the learning competency for our lesson. Demonstrate ways to minimize harmful changes in materials, such as restriction of burning of waste materials and care in handling reactive materials. For today's objectives, first, determine useful and harmful changes in materials. Second, describe the harmful effects of changes in materials on the environment. Third, enumerate ways how to minimize harmful effects in changes in properties of materials. And last, demonstrate proper ways for handling reactive materials to prevent accidents and ensure safety. Minimizing harmful effects on the environment is important because materials like plastics don't break down easily and can stay in our land, water, and air for a long time. This pollution can hurt animals, damage nature, and affect our health. By cutting down on waste and choosing eco-friendly materials, we help keep our planet clean and safe for everyone. Recycling materials, turning used materials into new products instead of throwing them away. This helps reduce waste by keeping things out of landfills. It also conserves resources because we use less new material and energy to make new products. For example, recycling paper saves trees and water while recycling plastic reduces the need for new plastic. Overall, recycling helps protect the environment and makes better use of the resources we have. Discussion questions. Number one, why do you think we're sorting these items into different bins? Number two, can you explain why certain materials are recyclable while others are not? Number three, how do you think recycling helps protect the environment? And number four, what harmful effects can materials like plastics have on the environment if they are not properly disposed of? Number five, how can recycling help minimize these harmful effects. Number six, besides recycling, what are some other ways we can reduce our impact on the environment? And here are the answers. Number one, why do you think we're sorting these items into different bins? Answer, we sort items to make sure each type of material goes to the right place for recycling or disposal. Number two, can you explain why certain materials are recyclable while others are not? The answer, some materials can be broken down and made into new products easily. 
while others cannot be reused or take too long to break down. Number 3. How do you think recycling helps protect the environment? The answer, recycling helps waste out of landfills and reduces the need for new materials, which helps keep our environment cleaner. Number 4. What harmful effects can materials like plastic have on the environment if they are not properly disposed of? The answer, plastic can pollute land, water, and air, harm wildlife, and take a long time to break down. Number 5. How can recycling help minimize these harmful effects? The answer, recycling reduces the amount of plastic waste and uses less new plastic which helps keep the environment cleaner. Number six, besides recycling, what are some other ways we can reduce our impact on the environment? The answer, we can use less plastic, conserve water and energy, and choose products with less packaging. Let us talk about ways in minimizing harmful effects in changes in properties of materials. Of course, we have number one, recycling. Benefits to humans, recycling reduces the need for raw materials, lowering production costs for goods made from recycled materials. It also creates job opportunities in the recycling industry. Second, recycling conserves natural resources, reduces energy consumption, and minimizes greenhouse gas emissions associated with resource extraction and manufacturing processes. Number two, reducing consumption. First, by consuming less, individuals can save money, reduce clutter in their homes, and lead simpler, less stressful lifestyle. Second, reduced consumption decreases the demand for new materials helping to conserve natural resources and minimize environmental degradation associated with resource extraction and production. Number three, reusing items. First, reusing items saves money by extending the lifespan of products. And reducing the need for frequent replacements, it also fosters creativity and innovation in finding new uses for old items. Second, reusing items conserves resources and reduces waste generation, lowering the burden on landfills and minimizing pollution from disposal. Number 4. Choosing eco-friendly alternatives First, eco-friendly alternatives often contain fewer harmful chemicals, making them safer for human health. Reducing exposure to toxins may also promote a healthier lifestyle. Second, eco-friendly materials are typically biodegradable, compostable, or recyclable reducing their environmental impact and promoting sustainable resource use. Number five is proper disposal. First, benefits to humans. Proper disposal practices help prevent pollution and contamination of air, 
water and soil, safeguarding human health and well-being. Second, proper disposal minimizes the release of hazardous substances into the environment, preserving ecosystem health and biodiversity. Number six is conservation and preservation. First, conservation efforts protect natural habitats and ecosystems, providing recreational opportunities, clean air and water, and essential ecosystem services that support human livelihoods. Number two, conservation and preservation initiatives safeguard biodiversity, mitigate climate change, and maintain ecological balance, ensuring natural systems' long-term health and resilience. Number seven is education and awareness. First, education and awareness campaigns empower individuals to make informed choices and take action to reduce their environmental footprint leading to healthier and more sustainable lifestyles. Second, benefit to the environment, increased awareness fosters a culture of environmental stewardship and promotes collective efforts to address environmental challenges, leading to more effective conservation and sustainability initiatives. Implementing these strategies can reap numerous benefits for individuals, communities, and society, ranging from cost saving and improved health to environmental protection and sustainable development. So this is our activity number two, title Environmental News Reporting, Investigating Pollution and Solutions. Here are the objectives. At the end of the activity, the learners are expected to First, raise awareness about different types of environmental pollution, air, water, and land. Second, foster critical thinking by discussing potential solutions to environmental pollution. Materials needed, skits, and props. For the instructions, work in group. Together with your teammates, perform the activity. Procedures, watch a short news report. You may use the internet to research how to do news reporting. Each group will perform a news reporting skit featuring the assigned topic. Group 1, Air Pollution, Group 2, Water Pollution, Group 3, Land Pollution. Number 3, assign members to be the newscaster, field reporter, cameraman, propsman, materials assigned by the teacher, pupils for the commercial, music and news director. Number 4, the news reporting will focus on how the pollution started, how it affects the environment, and how we can prevent it from happening again. Number 5, the performance will be recorded through a video that will be reviewed and commented by the teacher and the class. And of course, you have to present your output to the class. Now, let us talk about discussion questions. A. What did you learn from participating in this activity? B. How did portraying real-world environmental issues through a news reporting format enhance your understanding of the topics? Third, or C. What insights did you gain about the importance of addressing environmental pollution and implementing solutions? D. How can the information presented in the news reports be applied to real-life situations or environmental advocacy efforts? And E. 
What actions can individuals, communities, or governments take to address the environmental issues discussed in the activity? And letter F, how do you plan to contribute to reducing pollution and promoting environmental sustainability in your own life? And here's the answer. Letter A, what did you learn from participating in this activity? Here's the possible answer. I learned about different types of pollution, how they start, and ways to prevent them. Letter B, how did portray real-world environmental issues through a news reporting format enhance your understanding of the topics? Possible answer, acting as newscasters and reporters helped me see how serious pollution issues are and made it easier to understand their effects and solutions. Here's the answer. Letter C. What insights did you gain about the importance of addressing environmental pollution and implementing solutions? Possible answer. Addressing pollution is crucial to protect our planet and health. Finding solutions can help us keep our environment clean and safe. D. How can the information presented in the news reports be applied to real-life situations or environmental advocacy efforts? Possible answer? The information can be used to raise awareness, educate others, about pollution and encourage people to take action to protect the environment. Letter E, what actions can individuals, communities, or governments take to address the environmental issues discussed in the activity? Possible answer, individuals can reduce waste and recycle, communities can organize, clean up events, and governments can create policies to reduce pollution and promote green practices. Letter F, how do you plan to contribute to reducing pollution and promoting environmental sustainability in your own life? Possible answer, I plan to recycle more, use less plastic, and spread awareness about keeping our environment clean. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you!